from wooden toes buried with Egyptian mummies to bionic hands powered by microchips, it's a fascinating journey of survival and innovation. Let's explore how this transformation took place. In ancient Egypt, craftsmen designed the Cairo toe. Made of wood and leather, it helped restore balance and walking ability. Capua leg, a bronze and wooden leg found in Italy, and dated around 300 BC. This is a 3D printer constructed copy, originally made from bronze and iron with a wooden core. It was heavy, but it showed how engineering could replace lost limbs. During the Middle Ages, prosthetics became common with peg legs and hooks for knights and soldiers. Though their designs were limited, they spurred experimentation with gears and springs blending mechanics with survival instincts. The Renaissance introduced artistry to prosthetics. Materials like copper and steel were sculpted into limbs that resembled intricate sculptures. They became symbols of both craftsmanship and necessity. By the time of the American Civil War, innovation took a leap. The cosmetic rubber hand emerged, featuring movable fingers and attachments. The First World War led to advancements, giving wounded soldiers tools of dignity. After World War II, prosthetics returned to wood and leather, though they were heavy and difficult to maintain. Still, they provided veterans a chance to live semi-normally again, carrying on. In the later 20th century, new materials transformed these devices. Technology moved plastics, resins, and carbon fiber made prosthetics lighter and more hygienic. For the first time, they began to fit the human body more comfortably. By the 21st century, we saw the rise of superhuman capabilities. Running blades enabled athletes to sprint, and sensor-controlled hands could respond to thoughts. Microprocessors allowed limbs to mimic natural movement. The evolution of prosthetics advances technology, but also, and more importantly, improves people's lives. This timeline represents more than just inventions. 